guys, welcome back. Bushcraft family back again with another video. And this one, um, yeah, it's pretty important. Um, I've had people ask me about security and things because they fear if things get bad or even if they don't, um, ways of protecting your home. Um, and I kind of narrowed it down a little bit. Uh, let's go for your front door. Um, ways to protect your front door. Um, things that you should have next to your front door or, or around the front door um, in order to be prepared or safe. Um, just common sense kind of stuff that some people just might not you know, think about. So in the most common of ones is going to be uh, protection, a handgun. Um, there are talks about what kind and, and all of that. And it's, I guess it's something that you're, you would have to be more comfortable using in it, that situation. Um, now, there is talk like if you have a said handgun next to the front door, uh, somebody does come in, they have access to that. That very well could be. But imagine somebody coming through the door. Um, bad guy. Um gets through your door and you're afraid to keep the said weapon next to the door. So you have to run all the way upstairs or into the back room where your bedroom is to get your protection. A lot of things can happen within that time period. Uh, I'm not saying as soon as you, somebody... As soon as you come through the door, there's a, an end table or something with a handgun sitting right on top. It is good to position these things in hidden areas to where it's easy to access. Um, and it's not very well that you can see it as soon as you come through the door being a bad guy. <clears throat> um, and if if you're... The next one on, on my list would kind of be if you're not comfortable with that. Uh, maybe somebody in the household refuses to use, uh, you know, a lethal means of protection. Um, there's pepper spray. Um, not, not as... Uh, full protection as a, a a firearm or whatnot, but um, it could deter somebody from doing harm to you or stealing things in your house. And that, that's about all I can say with, with pepper spray. Um, again, you don't want to leave it to where it's like hanging on the wall as soon as they come through the door. You want to put it in a place where it's very accessible to where you can grab it. You know where it's at. Um, you can be right there in, on the ready. Next one is always, always have a flashlight right near the entrance or even the back door to your house. That way you can have easy access to it. Um, and I would say a good flashlight that is also that you can use it as a, um, um, a way of protecting yourself. If you know what I mean, something that's, Big and heavy, a mag light or something like that, uh, that can be used for self defense uh, as a club, so to speak. <clears throat> um, but again, flashlights are very important. Uh, you should have flashlights um, 
throughout every area in your house in case power does go out one time and you can access said flashlights in the room or throughout the house. Um, me, I, I have the Dollar Tree little solar lamps. Um, you can, you can get them and before you, before they work, they have like a little paper strip that you pull out. And if you place those in your windows, um, be it up on the top or, or wherever to where they can get light from the sun, they will stay charged all the time. And then if power goes out, you can go right to the window. You can usually see windows. You know where the windows are at. Grab that, pull that little strip out, and boom, you have a light. Um, having those throughout the house in the, every window, it's just simple. And it's, a, it's very cheap. Our next thing is the door. Yes. Um, all in all, it would be nice if you would have a steel door to protect your house. A lot of houses still have the wooden doors that um, easily broken with an axe, sledgehammer, um, or whatnot. And with that, um, good locks, good hinges, and good hardware for for those hinges. Um, the majority of door hinges and on the door frame itself are mere one to one and a half inches long. And all they do is screw into the door frame itself. It doesn't go into the studs within the wall. So always make sure that um, you have really good screws that go all the way, at least three, to eight, three, three and a half inches long. That way they go all the way into the stud. Um, again, this, this is um, all the hardware on the door frame itself too. Um, it's just, it's just more, um, more sensible. I mean, would you rather have a itty bitty screw holding your door up or would you have like a beefy hefty screw that goes into the stud of the wall? <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> uh, also just, you know, uh, around your door or on your property have, um, signs and there's, there's plenty of signs that, uh, will tell people that, Hey, uh, don't mess with here. We have things that that may hurt you, <laughs> um, or just private property. Stay away, you know. Sometimes just a sign will do it. Um, you never know. <laughs> uh, depending where you're at, uh, I would suggest door braces. There are many of them. Uh, I seen some in like New York city to where they they're connected to the floor and then a steel bar is connected to the door to where it's extremely hard to knock the door down. <laughs> um, there are some that you slide a two by four down, um, which the little flanges on the side are connected to the studs of the door frame. I, which makes it extremely hard to get through the door. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of devices that will make it extra hard to get through those doors. Uh, another good thing to keep by the door is um, boots or some good outdoor shoes that you can you can put on and if you have to be outside, it's a good thing to have. You know, to slip them on and get going really fast. Also, if you have the doors that, you know, have the little fancy, cute little windows that you can peek outside and see what the neighbors are doing and whatnot, 
um, make sure you have something on that to where it impedes the bad guy from looking inside and seeing what you have. Um, also, those are uh, vulnerable areas for uh, people to get through. Um, but have some kind of privacy film or something on those windows to where it, they can't see in. Um, always good to see out, but, you know, it's very bad to, for them to see out, see in. Next, security cameras. It, you know, um, this day and age, they're very easy to um, to purchase and real easy to set up. Just plug them in. They hook right up to your Wi-Fi. Just make sure your Wi-Fi is secure. Um, too often, uh, when we get internet and stuff, it comes default from the from the the companies. And they don't tell you how to change it or put passwords on or anything like that. And people pull up and say, huh, I wonder what kind of internet they have. Oh, they, they have Spectrum or, or whatever the company is. And they said, well, let's try the default stuff. Oh, got right in. And then you can see everything that's going on around their house. You can see where their cameras are. Um, all kinds of stuff, but that's that's an, that's another subject down the road. Um, the video doorbell; those things are awesome. You see so many videos of um, bad guys trying to get in, and that video doorbell says, "Hey, get away!" and it actually deters them, and they run away. Um, that deterrent right there uh, has saved many of people. And a lot of your stuff. The same thing with motion sensored lights. Uh, setting up as they come through towards your garage or through the side of your house or something. Boom, the light comes on. Um, something that, you know, triggers say, hey, we see you. Um, you're, not, you're, you're, not, you're not sneaking up on us, you know. Uh, sometimes just the light will deter somebody. Uh, m most, of, most of them already know that, hey, this is a motion sensor light. They may not even be home, but a lot of times it will deter them. Uh, next thing is, I mean, one r really important thing is uh, having a radio next to the door. I mean, I know most of us lose to listen to music on our, our earbuds or headphones. Now we don't have those radios that we used to have, but just purchase a, a, a simple little radio that if you're leaving the house, turn it on. Um, if you don't, you know, like running the TV or something to, to show that, Hey, maybe there's somebody in the house. Just a simple little radio um, making voices or noises or music or whatever. That right there can deter people. But that's it, guys. That, that's that's all I have on there, my list. But I know you guys out there in chat, you're going to give me some great, great ideas for the, maybe the next video. So make sure you post down in the comments below. Um, your ideas and if there's something I forgot which usually happens until next time God bless